Broke glass. Rituals of blood on the burning. Served by a crowling, fighting. Five nights of horror and of bleeding. Broke glass. Cold blades as sharp as the eyes of hate and the stabbings. It's war amongst the rebels. Madness, madness, war. When I started to write verse, I didn't know anything about poetry. I was just trying to articulate um, how I felt and how I knew my contemporary um, com contemporaries felt as black youths growing up in a racially hostile England. And um, I was exposed through, fortunately, through my two mentors, um, the late Andrew Salke from Jamaica and the late John LaRose from Trinidad. Um, I was exposed to um, a lot of poetry by black authors, African-American poetry, African poetry, Caribbean poetry. And um, so I began to read. And then my interest in poetry broadened and eventually I found my own voice. You know, it takes a while. It must take me about 20 years to find my own voice. When me just come to London town, me used to work on the underground. But working on the underground, you don't get to know your way around. England is a bitch. There's no escape in it. England is a bitch. There's no running away from it. Me get a little job in a big hotel. And after a while, me was doing quite well. Them start me off as a dishwasher. But when me take a stock, me no ton clock watcher. England is a bitch. There's no escape in it. I've always been interested in, in the music of language. Um, that is one of the things I guess that attracted me to poetry. Um, and what I've been doing in my own work really is trying to uh, arrive at some kind of a tension between um, the, 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 the language of reggae and the music itself within the Jamaican speech. Roots reggae music, um, it became a vehicle for the, the disenfranchised, um, the unemployed, the working class youth of Jamaica to articulate how they felt about growing up in post-independent Jamaica, joblessness, um, hopelessness, and so on. And Rastafari became its ethos. And um, so, you know, reggae music was very Afrocentric, um, very uh, militant on the one hand, and very spiritual on the other hand. And I think that's what makes reggae unique, or what makes, makes reggae stand out from all, all the other popular forms of music. And then. Mama, 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 more policemen come down and beat me to the ground. Them charge them the sus. Them charge them the murder. Mama, don't fret. Don't get depressed and down at it. Be of good courage till I hear from you. I remain your son, Sonny.